Hey YouTube, it's David Richter Scale Studios. Uh, starting a new project, not finishing the other ones, but um, I've had uh, Drop Zone Commander, the starter box, for months and months now. I'm finally going to throw it together. We're well, not throw it together. Put it together. Make it look nice. I'm going to do the basic paint job. Um, probably not exactly how they describe it on the instructions, but I am slowly going to put it together, and then I'm going to uh, paint it and weather it a little bit, uh, put the soldiers and get some uh, ground effects and terrain on their bases. As you see right there, that's a little bit too plain, but I gotta figure out uh, when you're dealing in 10 millimeter scale, uh, you gotta be very careful what kind of texture we use. It doesn't look like they're running on boulders, breaking their ankles. So um, I'm starting with, this is the Sabre main battle tank. I'm just gonna start putting one together, then I'm gonna put a bunch of them together and I'll keep updating you as I go along and painting this thing and um, I want to do my 3D printer to create some uh, I saw the train that's in um, resin because they come with a little cardboard uh, fold outs well I can make little uh, air conditioning vents and stuff like that would be kind of cool see if I can print them out and go from there and maybe even use my craft cutter that little uh, scrapbook cutter I have the um, portrait silhouette and see if we could do some um, building um, facades and maybe uh, put those together with some um, I have that extruded that pink uh, foam we can make some buildings out of it and uh, uh, put that on there and make some other buildings and stuff like that and go from there and even 3d print some facades too so uh, this is the beginning of the introduction of the drop zone commander um, starter box and we'll be putting together the uh, United Colonies of Man, the UCM, and then uh, the Scourge that come with it. And we'll go from there. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you uh, in a second. Hey YouTube, it's David, uh, Richard Scale Studios. Oh, excuse me, I just hit the tripod with the key, uh, on my chair. Um, as you know, I'm. this is just part of the introduction, part to the uh, Hawk War Games Drop Zone Commander starter box set I'm putting together. Um, there's the manual. And what you can see here is probably 75% of the uh, UCM force. Uh, you have the uh, all the tanks. You have uh, like below those are um, anti-aircraft, regular tanks. You have your APCs to haul your uh, um, troops around. And then I still got to build. I'm going by the instructions just methodically. And I'm just going to try to make these so you can fold them into the drop ships. So it's going to be a pain in the ass. And then I got the drop ship to build, and then I got to move on to the scourge, which looks really simple. Um, these were actually really easy to put together. Uh, I recommend always using uh, Tammy Extra Thin Cement. I love this stuff, especially for something ten uh, the ten millimeter scale. It is so thin and locks in, and uh, no mistakes. Uh, and this looks like it's gonna be a fun game, and you know, easy to collect. It's so tiny. Uh, you know, fit a couple armies in a, uh, a, a battle foam bag. And I know they're what K and R makes the foam for them, but it's kind of weird. Their website sucks to get anything off of. Um, so that is it for right now. Uh, I'm going to end this video here so I'm to put some uh, content on my channel and we'll go along and then uh, probably the next one will be uh, finishing up the UCM, United Colonies of Man, and then uh, maybe even do the whole scourge. That looks like a really simple uh, ship to put together. Then we will go into uh, priming and airbrushing and detailing. Or actually, before that, I, I think I'm going to use. I have some craft sand. I don't know if you can see this stuff, but it is super fine. And I think that'll look really good to give that a little bit of texture, but not crazy giant boulders on the base. I think I talked about that in the last uh, section of this, possibly. Or I'm tired right now. So uh, as usual, uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, we will start clipping uh, these off and showing those to you. And uh, that's it. Thanks again. Hey, we're back real quick. Um, almost got all models done. I got still two more drop ships. And this, I uh, realized that they, that little uh, piece that holds it up on the flight stand has to be glued in after it's painted. So that's okay. And um, right now I am sanding the uh, troop spaces and I'm just using a little bit of um, turbo tacky glue I like this stuff 
and a little bit of water and finding out this stuff is uh it thins out really easily so i've been kind of using it straight like on the paper plate like a pallet and just using the water kind of thin it out as i need it and then i have this really super fine sand i'll show that to you in a second so i'm just using a cheap little um or artist loft i think this is from probably or set from michael's uh, cheap uh, set of brushes and I'll try to clean this up afterwards too could you keep it uh, going it's water soluble so I don't have to toss it away I use other brushes for like uh, super glue or something like that that just after one use basically toss it or one sitting so uh, trying to get this done I have to do probably a couple passes on these you can see back in the thing they kind of miss spots here and there um, kind of hard to see but you're just looking for the glistening of the glue on the base and I don't think it's gonna dry quickly or anything but um, and we're gonna probably do another coat of uh, really thinned out PVA or this glue on top of this when we're um, finished so I just uh, stuck it into the, the tub of sand you can see where I just miss spots and I can see if I can go in real quick with a little bit of wet glue just kind of get this edge fixed I'm at my last base anyway, so it's okay if I mess this brush up more. And I want it with their little stands to have a little bit of to hide those into the uh, camouflages with sand. And we'll probably do a little bit of flocking on these. Probably not static grass. Maybe we could do a couple pieces just to look like little plants. Let's see if we can. See how this looks now. I just dunk it in here. I forgot. I think I bought this at the dollar store. This sand, or maybe at Michael's. It's just super, super fine, and that looks way better already. But then we have a little edge right here. We got some tackiness on there. Well, that might be a little too much. That's okay. I add, add a little undulation on there. Wouldn't be too bad. Add a little uh, um, interest to the base. So let's jam that in there then. There we go. So I'm going to uh, stop it here. Uh, this is basically, um, I thought, maybe, I, I don't know. This is probably three little parts to this first part of the Drop Zone Commander video. Um, You'll notice that from the beginning, I kind of uh, was busy the last few days and haven't done any hobby in, and I need to keep, keep some um, material on my YouTube channel going. So uh, this will be part of that uh, that little thing. This will be part one, and then um, when we come back, uh, we'll probably finish this second, the last two of these, and get these um, ready to go. Then we'll do the shatari. Then we're gonna prime everything together. And then we'll start painting stuff and hopefully get this on the board eventually. And like I said, I think in the past I might try some 3D printing to make some facades for buildings that we could uh, maybe glue together, make uh, 3D buildings. Or also the silhouette cutter with some uh, thin styrene can make some really cool windows and doors and stuff and um, put that on front of cardstock or um, foam board or even um, cut some blocks out of the extruded styrene and put the facades on there and make some really cool buildings that way too. So this is gonna probably be a long, not super long, well yeah, it could be, because this might be totally involved with not even playing, but just the hobby and building cool stuff for the board. Uh, I have the Frontline Gaming um, um, mat for this. It's so awesome, it's really that beautiful mouse pad material. Really cool uh, graphics on there and a kind of a cool carrying case. So uh, thank you for joining me, we'll see you in the next video.